Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today's gonna to be a quick video and I have a question for you. I would like to know, what is your worst habit when it comes to crochet? Uh, do you have sewing in ends? Do you ever do a gauge for your projects? Do you block your work? And things like that. Uh, to answer those questions for me, do I block my work? Not all the time. If it's a shawl that's got a really pretty stitch pattern, then yeah, I would block it. And if it was if it was a hat or a scarf, then probably not. I probably wouldn't block it at all. But yeah, definitely if it's a shawl, and if it was a hat with a very pretty stitch pattern, then maybe, but I've never blocked a hat as of yet, and I've crocheted for about, uh, gee, going up to 15 years, so. A long time a lot of people block all of their work and hey that's good too and some people don't block anything at all which is completely fine so if you would like to learn how to block then I do have a video for that you can use I don't have a block video for steam blocking but you can steam block I've seen plenty of videos on YouTube for that mine is just wet blocking so it's easy it's basically just washing your 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 project or just spraying it with some water and the other thing I was just talking about was sewing in ends yeah I'm guilty of that I never sew my ends in as I go if you've watched enough, enough of my videos you've probably heard me say sew your ends in as you go but do I do that not really <laughs> it's a guilty for that one and the other one was gauge now I usually don't do gauge I think because I follow I don't follow many other people's patterns mostly it's my own creation so I'm kind of making up as I go and then if it fits me then it's great if it doesn't I pull it undone I have however started knitting and I've been knitting for oh it's a year and a half almost a year and a half just looking at the date on the computer and I did do a gauge because I'm making a knitted pullover or a knitted jumper or sweater or whatever you call it. And I have done a gauge for that because I was worried that it was going to be too small or it was going to be huge and just, you know, look ridiculous. So I did do a gauge for that one. But generally I don't do that. So yeah, I think that was it. We've done gauge, we've done sewing in your ends and blocking. So that was my three questions. Do you do any of those? Do you do some of those? Have you never tried any of those before? Have you never, I mean, sewing in ends, you've probably tried, but gauge and uh, blocking, have you ever tried that before? And do you think it's important? Um, things like blankets, gauge really isn't that important unless you want it a Pacific size. That's, yeah, generally not that important for blankets. And scarves, generally not important. But yeah, if you're using a different type of yarn to the pro to the pattern so let's say it's asking for red heart super saver which is a 10 ply or worsted weight yarn and you want to try a double knit yarn which is almost half the thickness which is eight ply or double knit uh, yeah so do you think gauge is important and do you think blocking is blocking is important as well all right so that's my questions for today. I hope you're having a great week. Today is Saturday. It's Saturday morning. What time is it? It's almost 10 to 12, midday. So I'm starting to think about lunch. I'm getting a bit hungry. <laughs> it's not lunchtime yet, but I'm always hungry. All right, guys. I hope you're, like I said, having a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Happy crochet. Bye.